Even nuns love this car. Viewed from behind, its dihedral door sprouting like the wings of an angel, the McLaren 720S can and does appear celestial, its sculpted lines flowing from curve to curve with little regard for convention. This car is otherworldly and outrageous, outrageous in a way the Toyota Corolla isn't, nor can ever be. It's a work of art, and if it doesn't make you stop and gawp, like the busload of nuns who drove by while we were on location photographing this car, then there's possibly something wrong with you. The McLaren 720S embodies everything that is right with supercars. It looks the business, it's sleek, it's low, it's wide, it bulges and swoops and curves in all the right places. Those swooping doors are pure theater, folding out and up like a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis for the first time. People stare, including Carmelite nuns, when they see it in action. Kids make guttural noises. That embodiment of supercars continues with the price. It's almost pointless to talk about what the McLaren 720S costs, a genuine case of if you have to ask. But let's stop and dream for a minute. This is the McLaren 720S performance and it will set you back $515,080 before on-road costs. Without options. But, as is so often the case with supercars, or any car, for that matter, options abound, and in the case of our test car, a lot of options. A lot. Try $182,941.50 worth of options, bringing that as tested price to a monstrous and slightly comical dash $697,941.50, drive away. No, that's not a typo. Aside from cleaning out your bank account, you'll need to raid your coin jar for a loose 50c coin. Although, we're pretty sure if you rocked up to your local Mica dealer with $697,941 even, they'd probably let you drive away in a new 720S. Maybe. Of course, the McLaren is keeping good company at that price point with Ferrari and Lamborghini both asking for similar coin from their high-end performance models. That's the price of playing in the supercar sandpit, and it's a price many, okay, a few, are willing, and able, to pay. And outlaying those types of astronomical numbers nets you an equally impressive set of gargantuan numbers. Want pure power? There's 720 metric horsepower on tap, hence the designation, which translates to 527 kilowatts. That peak power doesn't come on song until you're high in the rev band at 7250 revolutions per minute, but with the howl of that glorious twin turbo. 4.0 liter V8 situated right behind your left earlobe, no one's complaining. Torque is an equally monstrous 770 newton meters, at 5,500 revolutions per minute, which, when combined with the 720S's felt 1,419 kilograms curb weight, helps propel the McLaren to a top speed of 341 kilometers per hour. Make no mistake, it's fast. The 0 to 100 km per hour sprint takes just 2.9 seconds. More impressively, the 0 to 200 km per hour dash is covered in an astonishingly quick 7.8 seconds, and should you be brave enough, 0 to 300 km per hour is covered in 21.4 seconds. The standing quarter mile is dispatched in 10.3 seconds. But even more impressive still are the McLaren's stopping numbers. With 390mm carbon ceramic discs at front and 380mm at rear, as well as a whopping big air brake that deploys at high speeds in just 0.5 seconds, the McLaren can come to a complete stop from 200km per hour in just 4.6 seconds having covered just 117 meters, while the more pedestrian 100km per hour to zero takes a minuscule 2.8 seconds and will see you come to a standstill in just 29.7 meters. You'll need to join a gym, though, because the brake pedal requires a firm foot. Applying the same pressure as you would in most road cars results in, well, nothing, no retardation. You panic, thinking the brakes have failed, so you push down harder and that's when the 720S's stopping power kicks in. It's downright frightening the first time it happens, with a movie reel playing in your mind of you plowing the $700,000 supercar into the back of a stationary Toyota within 500 meters of having collected it. There's no question this car is a monster. In a good way. Sadly, our time with the McLaren 720S was limited to urban runabout use, meaning we couldn't really sample its oinking numbers at the upper end of the mathematical scale. Something about it not being insured for track use 
according to the good people at McLaren. That did provide us, however, with an idea of what living with a bona fide supercar is like, how it handles the day-to-day -day grind of dealing with traffic in an environment that limits its capabilities. And in short, the answer is, surprisingly well. That's not to say the 720S lacks fearsomeness. It is awesome, in the true sense of the word, where awesome means causing or inducing awe, inspiring an overwhelming feeling of relevance or fear. Make no mistake, this car is frightening. From its jaw-dropping price tag to the sheer weight of its performance numbers, the McLaren 720S is a car that commands respect and, yes, a little fearfulness. Think back for a minute, if you will, to your childhood, and remember a time you were on a family holiday staying in a strange house. It might be by the beach, or deep in the country. It doesn't matter. What matters is there's no ambient light, because there are no towns nearby, no street lights no glow from the lights of a million houses, office blocks and factories casting that ambient glow most of us city dwellers are so used to. There's no moon to speak of and the blinds are drawn, and when you wake up in the middle of the night with an urgent need to pee, the house is pitch, pitch black.